Good afternoon. So the Shore household is in turmoil and I thought I'd update you guys. Good morning. We are excited to have our friends joining us now. Chris and Courtney arrived yesterday, so um, you'll be seeing a lot more of them here in the uh, upcoming video and probably videos here in the near future. Um, <clears throat> they're from the YouTube page Minimalish, and uh, we met them through YouTube, so we'll have to tell that story. Um, we'll have probably them give an introduction and tell you a little bit about themselves here, um, maybe on a video, but if not, probably our live event that's Good morning. Up. So Chris and Courtney are hooked up. They're actually not going anywhere other than to the dump station and to test out their new tow setup. So they've got the um, tow behind for flat on their Jeep behind Lucky the Leprechaun. And their Jeep here, I can't remember the Jeep's name. Jenny maybe? I don't know. But uh, this is going to be their first time leaving and I'm going to follow them. He's hoping the whole thing just doesn't fall apart. Job is to watch this bar right here to make sure that when he applies the brake, it pulls that forward and then in turn pulls this out, applying the brakes on the Jeep. I don't really know a whole lot about a towed vehicle, obviously with a travel trailer, we're not in this situation, but my mom and dad used to uh, used to tow a uh, Ford Fusion behind their Class A Tiffin Allegro bus when they were full-timers back for about 10 years. All right, looks like they're ready. issues was he was getting close to dragging before. Let's see, is he going to make it? Oh, he made it. Sweet. There's one last test right here. Oh, just barely. He did it. Like a champ. Chris and Courtney, minimalish on YouTube. Good afternoon. So the Shore household is in turmoil, and I thought I'd update you guys. Late last night, we discovered that our TV stopped working. And for those of you who know us, you know we love our TV. We love watching shows and binging and watching sports. Well, Michelle doesn't really like sports, but um, yeah, here it is. This 24 inch, which is basically the only thing that'll fit up here in this spot, Insignia we got from Best Buy. I actually went back and looked and we bought it about a year and a half ago. Um, obviously with these non-RV specific televisions, um, often what you run into is the life expectancy is not very high because of the bouncing from driving and stuff. It's just going through a lot of wear and tear that normally it would not go through if it was just sitting stationary on someone's living room um, counter or something like that. So. We went ahead and got a new one. Um, unfortunately, really the only one that has the right size is the Insignia, so we will be getting a new version of the exact same TV. Though I did upgrade it to the higher resolution, and this time I just went ahead and spent, even though I never do this, I went ahead and spent the extra $29 to get the five year warranty at Best Buy because it's likely that this same thing's gonna happen well before five years. And we'll just take it in and get a new television. So. Michelle's got some words to say over here. I'm sure she's chomping at the bit. <laughs> yeah, but the most important part of his trip into town, of course, to pick up our TV, which I can't wait because I keep having an urge to turn the TV on, is he's going to stop by Circle K and get our sip and save drink for the day. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, so yeah, yesterday it just stopped turning on with the remote. Unfortunately, this television has no power buttons on it to turn it on manually um, to maybe see. I've checked the batteries in both the Google TV Chromecast remote as well as the remote that came with the television. So I just think the thing is crapped out. Um, so I'm heading into Best Buy and uh, of course, Circle K. 
I made it to the big blue and yellow store. So I uh, ordered it last night and so hopefully it is ready for pickup. I got the text message saying it was. I just decided not to uh, do a curbside pickup. I'm just gonna go inside the store. Fingers crossed, it's the right one. We have it, super easy. It is the right one. I double checked to make sure it was the right model because they've got a couple different models um, that have similar specs, but this is the correct one. So we'll take it back and get it all set up. Fingers crossed it works. Um, and you know, we're even gonna maybe have a little bit higher quality uh, video since I went up in the DPI from 720, I think on the old one to uh, 1040 here on this one. And it's a full HD TV. So, uh, it's got the Fire Stick or Fire TV in, built into it, but we're not gonna need that since we've got Google Chromecast. Um, but it did come with three free months of Amazon T, or I'm not sorry, of Apple TV. So that's gonna be exciting because we'll be able to catch up on some shows that we've never been able to see because we don't have Apple TV. So see you soon. Checking back in. Don't worry, I didn't forget the sip and saves. Thanks, Circle K. Kyle's back. He brought our Diet Mountain Dew Sip and Saves, and he is about to unbox our new TV. So the nice thing about this TV is it's got a mount that's meant for going inside or outside. Um, that came with the RV, so I'll be able to just pull the TV right off the right off the stand because you can actually hook it up outside if you wanted. Um, we've not rarely ever done that. Um, but this is the old TV, so I'm gonna go ahead and dismount this, and then um, we'll open that here in a second. All right, I got that wall mount off. Uh, I feel like this video is becoming an unboxing. Obviously earlier, or maybe after this, you're gonna see one of our other unboxings from this week, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and see what we, oh, we got batteries and a remote. Hopefully this remote works. With that TV, you got some. Oh, we got our little stands. We're not going to need those stands. Oh, Chanel's... She's... She's walking off the job. She's, uh, <laughs> she's, she's a little bit of a sissy when it comes to any kind of movement that she's not used to. So, um, oh, instructions. Never mind. Um, so we will go ahead and get this one mounted and put up there, and we'll be right back. We got the TV mounted to the, to the mounting wall bracket. I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up here, right back where the old one was. I'm going to run the power cable. It's a little bit of a challenge because it's not easy. There's a hole in the side of our cabinet up in the back here that leads to the There we go. I got it in there. Let me pull that down. Plug it in. Now let's uh, let's plug in the Google Chromecast. Plug it in the number one, HDMI one, and oh, gotta turn the power on. So let's see if it works. Well, we gotta put batteries in the remote real quick. than the last one had, but that could be because it's got Fire TV on it. Um, but, uh, all right, the moment of truth. Let me pull all the little plastic things that are always so rewarding off. See if we got power. Oh, the red light flashed. That's a good sign. That is good. Our last one stopped flashing. Yeah, stopped doing anything. <laughs> um, Yay, TV! So we'll, uh, we'll get this set up and, uh, you know, Hopefully this works, fingers crossed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future episodes. Thanks everyone.